hey guys welcome back to another android video from coding stuff and in this video we're gonna learn how you can generate qr codes with whatever input uh, is given and we'll also learn how you can share that generated qr code to multiple applications like whatsapp instagram etc and in the next video we'll learn how we can scan that uh, generated qr code or existing qr code so yeah so this is empty project uh, and i have prepared the layout already so here we just have two buttons uh, generate qr button and share qr button then we have one edit text for the input and then we have one image view with uh, width uh, 0 dp and layout height as a wrap content so we will use one library here which is uh, let me just open the chrome so i'll provide this link into the description box so you can get this library all right so this is present in the maven central so we don't need to use a uh, j center so i'll just copy this dependency and in the gradle scripts i'll go to the lips.version.toml i'll paste uh, the copied dependency and we will rewrite in this format so i'll just copy android active android x activity dependency so i'll i'll rename this as QR generator and from the start to the first column I'll cut it and I'll put it over here inside the group and from the column till this column I'll again cut it I'll paste it inside the name and this version will go to this activity I'll duplicate this activity and I'll paste that version and here I'll name it as a QR generator and then I'll use this down here inside the version rep and I'll just uh, remove this cool then I'll go to the project and build.gradle app level I'll, call, I'll duplicate this constraint layout and here write ellipse.qr.generator and then i'll click on the sync now so our gradle is synced and let me just uh, enable the view binding so for that uh, what i'll do i'll just write build features here so build features and here view binding equals to true then i'll sync this we need to put uh, this build feature and view binding true inside the android block cool so let me just close the build.gradle and lips.version.toml so now we'll jump towards the main activity and here first thing that we'll do we'll create one late init var for binding so private late init var binding this will be of type activity main binding and we'll initialize the binding over here so binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate and we need to pass the layout inflate over here then i'll use that binding and instead of passing the layout i'll write binding dot root cool so in this uh, we have two buttons generate qr button and share qr button so we need to add on click listener to them so I'll call one function here which will be register UI listener and we'll create that function over here so private fun register UI listener and in this we'll, use, we'll write binding dot generate QR button dot set on click listener and from here we'll call one function which will be generate QR code and will also attach on click listener to the share button so share qr button dot site on click listener and here we'll call one function which will be share qr code cool so let's just create these two functions with the help of this red bulb so create function and we'll also create this generate qr code function cool so let's just uh, remove this to do's cool so in here our uh, generate qr code 
we need to get the value from this edit text so from what we want to create the qr code so we'll get that input text and we'll store it inside one variable while input text and binding dot qr text et text dot to string cool then i'll use one try catch block so let's just uh, catch the exception here so it is i guess a writer exception yeah coming from com.google.zx.ing i don't know how to pronounce it cool then i'll just uh, log this error log e e dot message cool and at the top we can create one log or uh, tag so log t cool so inside this try block uh, what we need to do first we need to create one encoder so encoder this will be of type barcode encoder coming from our library cool and then there is one function from which uh, we'll get the bitmap so i'll create one temp variable which will be bitmap and we'll use this encoder dot create a bit uh, encode bitmap sorry not a create bit, bitmap we need to use this function and here we need to pass few parameters uh, first is the content so from what we want to create the qr code so it is input text and then we need to pass the format so barcode format this will be qr QR code and then we need to specify the width and height so for that uh, we can create one constant so I'll just duplicate this and I'll rename it uh, as a QR size and you can adjust this size it depends on your requirement so I'll keep it as a hundred then I'll copy this QR size and I'll pass it over here two times so height and width cool and after creating the bitmap uh, we can set this bitmap to our image view so generated qr image dot set bitmap set image bitmap and i'll pass this bitmap cool so let's just try to run the app and we'll see this is working or not so our application is installed or uh, let's try to write something here so i'll write coding stuff and i'll click on the generate qr so yeah as you can see the qr is generated but it's uh width and height is too low so we can just play around this size so i'll keep it as a 1024 and uh, let's just try to re rerun the app so our application is installed again and let's just try to rewrite the coding stuff and i'll click on this generate qr button so yeah uh, this looks better to me so you can play around this value it totally depends on your ui requirements cool so we are done with the uh, generating the qr code it was that simple so yeah that's it for this video in the next part uh, we'll work on the share qr button so yeah do subscribe and thank you for watching